Am I wrong in thinking that the Jags uh, shouldn't have given that money to Trevor Lawrence? He had 16 yards in the third quarter yesterday passing. But not in the third quarter. I tuned into the game in the third quarter, and he had thrown for 16 total yards. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence, I wouldn't say that you that um, they shouldn't have given the money. Trevor Lawrence is an incredible talent which is always enticing and really hard to find. And when you watch any of his games, you could clip out five to six plays. And it feels like even some of his worst games that just look like he's one of the best quarterbacks in football. The problem is the consistency, the cons consistency throughout a game or throughout an entire season. He hasn't been able to establish that. And up until now, we've been kind of excusing it with coaching issues or receiver drops. But at a certain point, I think we all just have to accept that something's wrong there and no matter who they bring into coach or the receivers that they bring in and maybe things will change with uh brian thomas because he's a really impressive young receiver but it seems like trevor lawrence kind of does this hero ball thing as if he's at clemson at a certain point in the game and he hasn't gotten to the point where he's comfortable with taking the incomplete pass and moving on and trying to play within structure and only being a hero when you have to be a hero that's kind of what um, Josh Allen has struggled with, but the problem with comparing those two is Josh Allen's ce ceiling is so much higher than Trevor Lawrence has been that he can endure some of the negative plays that uh, Trevor Lawrence hasn't been able to. Dominique, how many of the other paid quarterbacks, you talk about consistency, the reason I get frustrated with Trevor Lawrence is because every game I'm watching four throws that every other quarterback in the league makes, and he's missing them by a lot. And so you're talking about consistency. I don't know how correctable that is because it's every game I'm seeing it. Yeah, and I, that's the thing is – we end up focusing in and highlighting those things and we kind of rewrite or revise our history of a specific game based on like who won or lost. And I think Trevor Lawrence has had been on the wrong side of a lot of those games and he's had enough issues that you can point to him and say it's his fault. But there have been enough problems like last year. I think he they kind of set a record for number of drop touchdown passes. So I think that's the problem with Trevor Lawrence is it's. The uh, the evaluation has never been completely clear. And I think the final thing we can kind of establish is that he's not a top tier guy, even though he has the top tier ability. He's not that guy, but he's certainly not uh, bad enough that if I was a Jaguars, I'd let him go and go back into the market. Yeah, that, that's and I'm just risk averse in that way. Uh, my reaction and. Um, I think Mike Ryan might have made fun of me a long time ago because I told the Browns to pay Baker Mayfield. So, like, I always think that if you got a quarterback that's okay, you keep him because I'm scared of what you might end up with. Dominique, if, if you're Shad Khan and Bill Belichick calls you today, what do you do, Dominique? <laughs> you uh, hang up the phone and <laughs> get back to work. I don't know. Like, there's not time to bail already. And the Bill Belichick. Uh, Bill Belichick's value to a team, I don't know, is about quarterback development. And I guess maybe you could argue that he could help um, um, Trevor Lawrence mature to a point where he doesn't have to make all these big plays. But Bill Belichick is a defensive mastermind, and I don't think it's time to move on. Is it? Are you going to do that with every team every week? That's, yep. that's the move. Yeah, that, that's the yes, joke. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, that's Belichick. the joke. Yeah. Yeah. Dallas yeah. would be the, the strong pick today. Dallas, like that, uh, you know, that one makes a lot of sense. Maybe Dallas. Baltimore. I mean, Cincinnati. Maybe know. Baltimore. Uh, enough of John Harbaugh. Someone win with Lamar Jackson. It hasn't been John Harbaugh. I mean, you have a two-time <laughs> MVP, and Harbs has done nothing with Lamar Jackson. There are some numbers. Belichick would win 10 Super Bowls there, with that There are guy. some numbers with Baltimore. Baltimore loses more 10-point leads oh, in the oh. fourth quarter than any team in the league. Lamar, th this is the first time they're 0-2 since 2015, Stugat. This is the first time a reigning MVP is 0-2, excuse me, since uh, it's been like 22 years since a reigning MVP started 0-2. That organization does not start 0-2. That was a weird one to lose to the, mortar, uh, the motorcycle gang of Minshew and Crosby.